From the White House to the Florida State House, the goal is to get the vaccine into as many arms as possible. And with this new site, federal officials hope to calm fears for undocumented immigrants who may be hesitant to get a shot. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith has more tonight. All in all, a pretty smooth first day here at FEMA's vaccination site. No lines to speak of and even a few canceled appointments, leaving a few hundred doses to spare. 1,200 people receiving a coveted COVID shot on opening day. And at the front of FEMA's vaccination site, this sign. That sign is designed to allay any concerns that anybody might have about coming um, to a site where there is a federal presence. It reads U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement will not conduct enforcement operations at or near vaccine distribution sites. I'm told these signs are posted at all four federally supported vaccination sites in Florida. It's tremendously sad. It's sad that something like this actually has to be said. Elizabeth because Gutierrez with Enterprising Latinas believes the intention behind the sign is good, but highlights a lack of trust between government officials and migrant and immigrant families. There is a lesson here. If we were all a part of the solution and part of that larger ecosystem, maybe those signs wouldn't be necessary because there would be trusting relationships already established and that wouldn't have to be said. Enterprising Latinas is partnering with the health department to identify people in need of testing and vaccinating in underserved communities. Though Hispanics make up more than a quarter of the state's population, they are only getting about 15% of available shots. Well, there's definitely been a gap and what we've tried to do as an organization is to be a part of the solution. In Tampa, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.